Hey, mister. Oh. Hello. Why the day, isn't it? Sure. What a country. I'm working on a project. Photography. Yeah, I guess that, bit. <laughs> of course. Wildlife. That's my thing. Or well, that's what I want to be my thing. If I have to take another picture of a grumpy housefrau or pompous middle-class burger, I will feed myself to the lions. Stand here. Here? Just... There. Albert Mason. Arthur Morgan. Pleasure. I am trying to find and capture images of our great predators before our greatest predators kill them all and stick them on some clubhouse wall. Good luck with that. Yes, not the easiest. But, well, I love a challenge. The trick is to leave a big load of meat and relax and pray they don't mistake me for lunch. Oh, good heavens. My bag, that thing is robbing me. Go, oh, good heavens. Don't worry. That thing is a coyote. Sneaky one, too. Wildlife photographer. And Kyle, don't think about coming back. your bag oh thank you thank you sir bag full of meat will tend to bring out the worst in the local population you are a gentleman the bag also had a lot of my supplies you've saved me days I'm can't thank you enough I'm, I'm thank you don't worry about it I'm, uh, you take care sir <laughs> I ain't the one trying to get myself eaten I realize I am a fool <laughs> forgive me and thank you very much once again. Please, if I'm to attract any wildlife, I'll need some privacy.
I'm in bad sorts here. I took a little jolt and have managed to get myself hopelessly lost. I am staying in Strawberry. If you could just guide me back. Can't think of a good reason to say no. Oh, thank you, thank you, sir. Shall I hop up there on the, on the back with you? Your legs work, don't they? <sighs> well, yes, I suppose. It's just a little demeaning. <laughs> What are you doing out here, anyway? This clearly ain't your natural habitat. I uh, no, I'm just visiting. I, I, I'm from New York City, actually. You don't say. Oh, yes. There was some talk at the country club about this burgeoning little resort town called Strawberry. So I thought it might be quite the trip to see what all the fuss was. Perhaps make a few investments while it was still undervalued. Turns out I was made the fool. Not enjoying it, Dan? It's a town of splinters. If you could call it much of a town at all, I'd hardly stepped off the carriage and I'd taken in the whole place. I suppose some might call it charming. <laughs> Let me tell you, charm is not worth much these days. You show me a timber frame shack and I'll show you Broadway. And meanwhile, you have this mayor, a quite intolerable blowhard, a little bes spoke woodwork and he thinks this is a cultural hub? The man's completely deluded. Well, I should give him some credit. He must be quite the salesman. He did get me out here after all. More fool me. Now I'm tromping through the leaves in the muck with some cowboy. Uh, no offense. Little taken. Remember that! We're on the path! Wake up! Wake up! This isn't a Easy race! Now. Close to town. Yeah. Sir, you've rescued me from the depths. You seem quite the resourceful sort, sir. If for some reason you plan to spend any time in Strawberry, you may want to look into that gabbing mayor. Something is definitely off with him. All right. I'll keep that in mind. I never thought I'd be so happy to see this pulp heap. Ah, uh, New Yorkers. Jesus. Yep.
Yeah.